All right, guys, so just had the new wheels and tires put on. Went with the Method 502 and the BFG KO2s. These are 215 75-15s. They fit really well. You can see there's plenty of space in there, back and front. I think they look really good. I, I would have loved to go with a 235, but I'm not lifted. And I didn't want any rubbing, especially with the Rally Armor mud flaps. Uh, that was my, not a concern, but I definitely didn't want any rubbing in there and I didn't want to have to modify anything. And I think these wheels are plenty big for my car. There's the back. I think they look absolutely fantastic. Back up so you guys can get a full view of it. Looks pretty good. I'm really happy with them. So I just came home. Uh, I didn't notice a whole lot of extra road noise, but I had the back seat down and the old wheels in the back. So it's kind of hard to tell, but I'll, uh, I'll drive around for a little bit and see, see if there's any extra road noise or anything like that. Um, let's do a little walk around here. There you can see how much they stick out. There's the passenger side. All right guys, I've been doing a little bit of driving around with the new wheels and tires. Uh, right now I'm kind of on a surface road. I'm about to get on the highway here in just a minute. Um, so you guys will be able to hear the road noise, hopefully, um, if my mic will pick it up. Or what you'll probably won't hear is that there isn't much road noise. Uh, I haven't noticed really any extra road noise. And uh, part, of, part of the reason for that is uh, I'm sure what you guys can hear is my nameless axle back muffler delete. So my car is fairly loud anyways. And so I haven't really noticed any extra road noise. I've noticed a little bit of a hum, like a very very faint hum uh, on the highway if I let off the throttle uh, but even when I'm, I'm at you know 2,000 rpms uh, in my car uh, the exhaust really drowns that out so uh, I don't know if you guys will be, be able to pick up on it hopefully you will but I also wanted to address a bunch of questions I had on a cross track Facebook group about the tires and rubbing and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, like I said before, they're, uh, they're the Method 502 15-inch uh, wheels, and the tires are BF Goodrich KO2s, and the, the size is 215 75-15s. So I, I intentionally went with the 215s, even though it's a little bit smaller tire, because I didn't want any rubbing, and I wanted to make sure that I didn't have any rubbing, and I didn't feel the need for a huge tire. Uh, not that the 235s are massive, but I know a lot of people had issues with rubbing, and especially issues with the, uh, if you have mud flaps on your car, which I do. So, yesterday I was out driving around. I had three other guys in the vehicle with me, so four full-grown men, which is about as many people as I've ever had in this thing usually it's just me but I could for sure feel the weight difference in the car driving around we did some highway driving and then we did some driving in downtown because we went to the convention center uh, for a, a convention and with uh, four pretty good sized guys in the car there was absolutely no rubbing uh, there was no nothing that I noticed uh, out of the ordinary uh, and so you know, like I said, we were we made some tight turns because I was in a parking parking garage and backed the car out of a parking space with four guys in it. Not a single inkling of rubbing at all. So I was pretty happy with that. And I figured if it was ever going to happen, it would be with, you know, four guys. What's that? 800 pounds in the car and backing out of a parking space. So... 
uh, that didn't happen at all, and so I'm really happy with that. But now I'm going to shut up for a little bit, and hopefully you guys can hear uh, whatever noises uh, there are to be heard. So this right now is the car at 1,500 RPMs. I'm doing about 60 miles an hour down the highway. I can't hear anything that I have that, I can't hear anything over the exhaust. Um, I'm pretty used to it, but I will say it, it gets a little tiring sometimes. I do like the exhaust, but there are days typically in the morning on my way to work uh, especially when it's cold out where I kind of don't want the exhaust on there and I wish it was quieter uh, when it's really cold here in Minnesota it uh, you know my car you obviously have that warm-up period so I try to keep the RPMs low during that and even after that the transmission tends to stay at a higher RPM uh, for a longer period of time, for several minutes, uh, while the car's warming up. And so that keeps, obviously, the noise up. And right by my house, there's a pretty good sized hill that I have to go up. And I still try to keep the RPMs as low as possible, but I still have to get up to, up to the speed of traffic going up that hill in the morning time. And so that's kind of annoying. Not the end of the world, but it, it does, gets a little annoying sometimes. And, and there, there are days where I consider taking the exhaust off and putting my factory muffler back on, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how I feel come summertime, too. All right, I'm going to get up to a little bit faster speed here, and then I'm going to cut back on the throttle and coast for a little bit and see if you guys can hear any tire noise at all. definitely a little bit of a hum. I hope the camera picked that up because I know that's what everybody asks a lot of questions about that, about tire noise. Uh, but I, I really don't see it as a, as a, much of a factor at all. Um, Crosstrack's not really a super quiet car anyways, so I don't see it as a problem. Um, somebody probably will, I don't know. But it doesn't bother me at all. Either way, I've been super happy with these uh, tires so far. I haven't really, I put a, probably 100 miles on them, uh, which is not much, but uh, highway, city, like I said, in downtown. Uh, it hasn't changed the ride at all. I haven't noticed anything that I didn't, nothing has changed in, in the ride or the performance as far as I've seen so far. Uh, the comfort level is the same. You know, there's not any extra stiffness. It doesn't feel heavy. Uh, it still feels fairly responsive, but of course it's not a sports car, so I'm not driving it that hard anyways. But, you know, I, I, I don't, I haven't seen anything that felt different than my factory wheels. So and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something that was gonna, going to not feel a whole lot different, uh, but perform better in off-road situations. And I also wanted something that was going to ideally be as friendly as possible for daily driving and for commuting to work. My drive's about 30 minutes, give or take, uh, most of it's highway. And so I wanted something that was going to be friendly for commuting to work and not uh, decrease my gas mileage by too much. Now, I'll post an update. Uh, sometime down the road but right now my car is at I'm averaging 31.2 miles per gallon that's what the car said what the computer on the car says now um, it is winter time and so that will be affected in the summertime I was getting closer to 34 and a half give or take uh, miles per gallon but uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on on the on the MPG and see if it drops drastically or changes much at all uh, and I'll eventually post an update video on that because I know that's another question a lot of people have so we'll keep an eye on that and see how it goes from everything I've seen nobody's gas mileage dropped much at all 
maybe one or two miles per gallon, which to me is not a big deal, especially considering that this car is really fuel efficient. Uh, at least for me, it has been. And so it wasn't much of a concern. You know, it's not like when people would put the roof baskets on and they're, they're losing, you know, five to eight miles per gallon or something like that. So I'm not really all that worried about it. But I don't know, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it. 